Hospitals here in Central Texas are about 45% full as of today, and there are 165 open ICU beds this week. Hospitals got the go-ahead to start performing a limited number of non-emergency surgeries. It's a start to help hospitals struggling financially. KXAN investigator Aaron Cargyle takes a closer look at low patient numbers and how it's affecting other types of health care facilities. It's a good thing that overflow centers and makeshift hospitals set up across the state for COVID-19 patients may not be necessary, but there's another side to the story. Here in Austin, healthcare facilities fully devoted to fighting the pandemic have not seen a surge, which means many doctors and nurses are working fewer hours and getting smaller paychecks. A local emergency room nurse emailed KXAN saying, when this first started, our emergency room was crazy. We reorganized it to prepare for COVID patients, invested in a mountain of PPE, but nothing happened. Patient volume is down 70%. Nurses and doctors are being canceled constantly and not getting paid. I fear my facility won't make it much longer. Our healthcare facilities are pretty empty. Serena Bumpus, practice director with the Texas Association of Nurses, says it's the result of the community following stay at home orders. They're not going to the hospital unless they have to. They're, they're accessing their primary care physicians. They're, um, they're using those other resources to keep them out of the hospital. This emergency center has yet to reopen after temporarily closing its doors at the beginning of the month. The sign on the door says staff has relocated to other St. David's facilities where they were needed more. And Bumpus says freestanding ERs, they've been hit the hardest. A quick check online shows short wait times at freestanding ERs. Fast Med urgent care locations have had zero or one patient in line all day. In our company, one of our biggest focuses from our CEO down has been trying to keep the people that are on the front lines with with their paychecks, with their income coming in. Uh, but it's certainly a struggle. A balancing act with healthcare facilities trying to stay open and keep their staff. Erin Cargyle, KXAN, investigates. Bumpus says getting hospitals back to normal should be a slow process. Doing it too quickly could send us back, set us back with slowly spreading COVID-19 because Texas still needs to improve its testing capabilities.